Why did you eat so weird? I don't know what's done this. Oh, yeah, sure. I got all these Georgian aliens. Hi, you guys. <clears throat> you live in orchid weather? Nope. Huh? No, you can grow orchids. orchids. Yeah. Grill orchids? I don't grow. know. Oh, grow orchids. Yeah, yeah, you can grow orchids. That's for sure. Well, I mean, like down here, because I thought it was a little more difficult than Mark to do or something. Hey, everybody. Hi, Melody. How are you? Thanks for coming on. I hope a couple of you. Hi, Linda. How are you? Linda, happy almost birthday. I am. Um, I put together some birthday mail for you today, and it's going out in the mail tomorrow or Wednesday at the very latest. So happy early birthday. Thanks for coming on and joining us. Hi, Susie. We are here tonight with the new releases. Can you see them? They're right here. None of them have the tops on them. So Peyton has not smelled any of the new releases yet. Yep. I'm not even sure that he knows the names of any of them unless he's heard them like in passing, but I've purposely not had him smell any of the new scents yet. Mama Thunder has smelled the new scents. She is like the most bomb scentsy assistant ever. She's been helping me put together these pretty cool catalog mailings for you guys. I know you guys have got catalog mailings from me before, but these are super special and they've got a bunch of things included in them that I've never done before. So I'm really excited to get those out for you. Um, so, okay, a couple of housekeeping things before we start smelling scents. Um, there's only a couple of more days to take advantage of joining Scentsy and starting your own Scentsy business, even if you just wanna kidnap and take the kit and run for $49. Only in the month of February can you join for $49. Um, and you can keep all the kit contents, do whatever you want with it, and you don't even have to sell another thing if you don't want to. Or you can, up to you. So only a few more days to take advantage of that. Also, only a few more days in February to get any of the fall, winter catalog products that are on sale right now and are discontinuing as well, um, only in February. What? No, I'm talking about man. You got attitude today, y'all. Attitude. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dad. All right, so those couple of things. Also, only a couple of more days to add any of those fall and winter <laughs> bars that you might want to your Scent Club subscriptions so that you can always get your bar. Um, any of the other products that are like discontinuing that aren't a wax bar, hi, Casey, can't be added for like the always get my feature. Um, just the wax bars. Hey, Addie. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I have the catalog here Oops. with the scents and the testers here. They do have the names on the bottom, but he can't see through. So what I'm going to do is have him smell the scent and give us his first impressions of whether or not he likes it, what he thinks he can smell, etc. And then we'll tell him what the fragrance is. How about that for a little bit of a switch? Okay, so if you're joining us, watch, um, watching the replay, put hashtag replay down below if you're live. Welcome, thanks for being here with us tonight. So let's get to it. There are 10 new releases and two new Disney releases for wax. So a total of 12. <clears throat> and he doesn't know the names or anything. We're just gonna see what he thinks from the start. So. What I always like to do is when I have a tester, warm up the wax a little bit so that um, it really brings out the scent note in it. So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit for him and have him smell. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see, what are your thoughts? What do you smell and do you like it or not like it? Um, Number one. Can you guys hear him okay? I like it. It's a subtle scent. It's a you little like sweet, it? It's sweet. A little airy. Subtle, um, airy. Because it reminds me of like clothesline, but in a in a sweeter scent. Really? Clothesline is like super strong to me. That's what I'm saying. Like it's light. It's not. That's why I said it's subtle. It's like a subtle scent. It's not like you know what I mean. Okay. I like it though. It's not like the craziest I've ever This is smelled. the one he has. 
I was expecting it to smell like mango or something. Mango? <laughs> because of the color? Yeah, but it, it is like smell. a sort of orangey color. Mm -hmm. Do you like it or not like it? I like it. You like it? I like it. Okay. I'm not crazy about it. Well, not crazy about it. No. It's not. It doesn't slap like it's um, like a cool name. So the scent he has in his hand, what do you think, Mom? It's a subtle scent. It's subtle. Like yeah. sweet smell. Sweet. Not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering. Okay. The scent is called Do We or Don't We? And here's the description. We definitely do. Just crushed basil, overripe cantaloupe is a gift from the garden gods. So sweet cantaloupe, fresh basil. It's like the updated version of aloe water and cucumber. A very like fresh, sweet smell, but very subtle, not overpowering. It would be um, right up there with like aloe water and cucumber for me. Addie says, hi, Mama. Hello. Hi, Addie. <laughs> How are you? Okay, so we're moving on. I'm just going to pick another one random. This one's below. There you go. You can warm it up a little bit. Okay. Number two. So do we or don't we? He likes, but it's not. Eh, it's okay for him. I love do we or don't we. He's bugging. Here's the second one. This smells like it has some kind of pine or spruce in it. Pine or spruce? Yeah, it was like a... Hmm. I can't put my finger on what that is. I mean, I can't. <laughs> no, it's not that? pine or spruce. <laughs> what is that? Again, this isn't bad either. This one is one of my favorites this from the new like, releases. Favorite. I can't put my finger on what this <laughs> what? smell yes, is. Casey, you, have to, you have to. What is Try this? do we or don't we? You're going to love it. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll get it in your like free it. I don't bar. Think this was warming and warming the other day. None of these have been warming ever. Oh. These all I have really on them is it. Chester's. I haven't I put any of these out. Well, <laughs> only one I've put out before. I can't. Oh, I can't get past one. Okay, do you like it? I do. I do like this. But I like this a lot. It smells woody, like yeah, pine I, I or spruce. Yeah, like, like a. But I can't put my finger on it. It's not what I want to mm. call it. It's not pine or spruce. Mm. <laughs> this God. is nice. This is really, really nice. Either that or it's that thing that I don't like, but somehow I've learned to like it, like a like pomegranate or like a um, or like a like a grapefruit or something. You smell grapefruit? Yeah, something like that. You know? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Like it's something like that. Yes, I do. I do. So if you like I do, I like it. I like he it. He hates great. Well, he's always said that he hates grapefruit. I do, I hate But then every time he smells like... something that has grapefruit in it, he loves it. So, who <laughs> hates grapefruit? Not him. Okay, the scent that they are smelling is called Now and Zen. Sunny grapefruit mm -hmm. balances calming chamomile in a yin and yang kind of love story. This one is really good, you guys. Um, it's in the oceanic family. Um, it's really calming. Um, it is a soothing scent, and it's not super strong, but it is um, a statement scent, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely there. Like, it's there, it's so like, when you're, you're warming it, it, it will make a statement, you mm -hmm. know, and I feel like it is a, definitely a mood setter. Mm -hmm. So now in Zen, Sunny mm -hmm. Grapefruit balances calming chamomile, which I love the smell of chamomile, in a yin and yang kind of love story. Moving on. Number three. So you guys liked number two? Yeah, I like number yes two. for number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Number three. Ooh, I like this. He immediately <laughs> likes it. <laughs> immediately likes it. I like this one a lot too. A lot. A I lot. hate not knowing what I want to call things. <laughs> <laughs> um name of this thing. Zen Garden Soothing. Yes, Linda, it is very much like Zen Garden Soothing, but Zen Garden has more of a floral sort of after note to it. Now in Zen doesn't have the floral after note um, to it, but it is 
very zen like zen garden so i'll have to look up what the same scent notes in it are um but it's not got that floral after you know after no fragrance with it but if you like the zen garden um i think you'll absolutely like now in zen also the zen garden scent pack is currently in the clearance section so i don't know if you want to scoop that up because i think it's going to go bye bye after march 1st out of the clearance section whatever that is needs to be like laundry Ooh, that would be good, but it's not a laundry product. It's not, but I'm it's saying, just okay, right since you think about it, that needs to be a laundry chocolate product. Chocolate Thunder votes. <laughs> what do you think? Where's Chopped on I like this, like I said, with the uh, other one from Amber scent, um, a nice closet scent. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would be good on clothes, so. Yeah. yeah. But I like this, like it. Okay, the scent that he has is called Prickly pear and agave. Pear. Ooh, pear. I figure out what that fruit was. He always loves stuff with pear. In it, too. <laughs> I was like, what is this? It's pear. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Hey, Linda. Okay, so prickly pear and agave are sweet as a dessert, or as a desert sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals. It's really, really good. I would love to see this in a laundry product for mm -hmm. sure. This reminds me of like. Rainforest bungalow, but not floral, mixed with clothesline or cl clean breeze. Mm -hmm. So the all the rainforesty bungalow minus the strong floral, but also mixed with like a clothesline or a clean breeze. It's really good. Prickly pear and agave. Yes. Do we need? Are the babies? Yeah, all right. One momento. The children are calling. Hey, Anne. How are you doing, Miss Anne Boudreau? How are you? I'm so glad you guys are joining us tonight. And if you're catching part of it, we will post the video later in full so that you can catch the replay later. We have done three of the new scents so far. And Peyton doesn't know. So that's kind of exciting to see him try to guess and see what he likes as his first impressions. So if you're just joining us now, these are the new releases that we're going over here. There are 10 new releases. Um, and two new Disney releases. So 12 in total new releases. And so far we've done Now and Zen, Prickly Pear and Agave, and Do We or Don't We, which he's bugging if he doesn't like this scent because this one is really good. This is like gonna be an aloe water and cucumber type of fan favorite, I think. This one is really good. I want it in all the room sprays I can get, honestly. I like that one a lot. So, also, if you're just joining us, keep an eye on your mailbox because super awesome catalog mailing is going out. We're putting them together this week, and there's some fun surprises inside for you that we haven't ever done before, um, and I'm really hoping that you guys like them, so you'll have to give me your feedback. Oh, other thing. If you have your um, sample mail from February for Poppy Fields, if you got a ticket in your mail, um, that's because you placed an order in January. So save your ticket or take a picture of the ticket because we are going to be pulling the winner of that ticket drawing. So everybody who placed orders in January received a ticket in their sample mail with their February sample. And we are going to be pulling that ticket um, March 1st on Friday. And I am giving away a new warmer. So that's kind of a big thing, but it is a new release warmer it's a mini warmer um and that'll be the product giveaway and i'm really excited to see who's going to win that we didn't have a winner that claimed their ticket from last month so i'm really hoping that everybody who's got their ticket gets on live with us we'll pull the winner on march 1st that way everybody has a chance to get orders in and everything this month too if you place an order this month you're also getting a ticket in your catalog mailing i'll just combine the sample mail and the catalog mail for you so hopefully Peyton is the kids have the kids aren't technically really fully asleep yet, so they were calling for him. And hopefully, ooh Casey, oh yeah, we have to get the details together for your party. You're having a St. Patrick's Day theme party in March, so um, I want to iron out the details of that with you. I already picked up some super cute um, like fun things for your party that are St. Patrick's Day themed, and that's going to be really fun. So. All right, well, hold on, let me check if he's doing okay. Pause. 
right. Sorry guys. Kids needed their daddy for a minute. All right, ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, moving on. I'm going to pick, which one am I going to pick? All right, I'm going to pick this one. <laughs> Warm it up. This one is pink. He hates it. Ah, <laughs> what is that? He does not like it. Oh, no. This was one of the ones on my list that I was like, oh, um, I like it. I could um, I could do it, but it would be probably my last pick. It's like it's like sweet and tart at the same time. It bothers me. Yeah, whatever that is, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's not for me. He doesn't like it. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. She doesn't like it either. <laughs> so the one that they're smelling is strawberry taffy, which strawberry has been kind of a rougher scent. Um, it's a love-hate sometimes, but strawberry taffy is the one neither of them like. I like it, but it wouldn't be my first choice from the new releases, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Strawberry taffy is nostalgic notes of vanilla taffy folded with strawberry puree, Beckon straight from memory lane. Um, I don't remember strawberry being that at all. That is scary. The taffy is, I mean, it definitely, you know how sometimes you can get um, a piece of taffy and then it has a weird aftertaste? That's what that smells like. But if you're somebody who really loves strawberry taffy, then that one's right up your you alley. It smell more like the puree. I would, I have a funny feeling that mixing strawberry taffy with now and zen would be pretty good though. So I'm gonna give that a shot uh, once I get all the bars in for myself too. Moving right along, strawberry taffy is a no-go for them too. Ooh. All right, we're gonna do this one. This one is like this orangey it's color, orange. very orangey. This has to smell like mango. <laughs> he said it has to smell like mango. Like, hey, Jen, hi, Sam. On a branch, you're like, like, but you're here. So the consensus is nobody likes strawberry taffy, Sam. You are right. You called it. I got my best friend. That's my best one. My best one. See? Okay, smell. We're doing the or an orange one now. This is number five. Um. Hmm. This is probably gonna be a no for me too. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like 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 a hotel. Like a hotel. I get like a hotel, like not a good hotel. We're talking like three stars, like three. Oh, he's have... now he's a hotel connoisseur because he's been traveling too much. Now he thinks <laughs> three stars would have been awesome to him before, but now he's getting spoiled. <laughs> I don't know if that is right. He doesn't like it. No, I actually liked this things. one. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. He hates it. I actually liked it. I don't even want the residue on my fingers. Like that makes Oh, please. So the one that they're smelling is Tropic Tango. Mm. Tropic Tango is get in the groove with Tangelo Zest, Mango Puree, and Coconut Milk. I'm never usually a fan of coconut, um, but I don't really smell the coconut much in this. I no. may when it's warming. No, I haven't warmed mango. these yet, so um, it definitely smells. It's like if you've ever had a tropical fusion drink ever is what that is. Yeah, like the mango stuff that they pour in the like mango frozen margaritas at your local like 99 <laughs> restaurant or Ruby Tuesdays. No, hey, I'm just joking. I'm joking. But if you get like a, like a V8 fusion and it's like tropical and it has like the yeah. orange slash on any bottle, it tastes like the orange slash. Okay, okay, Tropic Tango. He doesn't like it. All right, moving right along. All right, we're going to do this blue colored one now. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, Brian. Hey, Breezy, be easy. Breezy, be easy. What you doing up here, yo? Smell the scent. I'm warming it. Hey, Allison, how are you? Hola. <laughs> this 
Kind of oh, he says it's not too bad. It's kind of subtle too. I think this one probably smells a lot better warmed up. Don't get your fingernail in it. Really? Relax no, a not. little. Manhandling my testers. Oh, there's something sweet in there too. Something sweet. <laughs> 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 you like it? Oh, that's, okay. decent. that's decent. That's he decent. He likes it. It's I decent. feel like there's more puree in that of some sort. But <laughs> What's with all the puree? Puree and What's everything. Puree. I'm going to write no puree on my paper. Nothing with puree for him this time. <laughs> oh, so. Hi, Brian. See, Thank you for so joining so us. Like, How are you, you doing? Start, like, How's the weather there? Like, there? It's like sweet <laughs> aftermath that's in there. I'm like, what is that sweetness? I don't know. Sweetness. I'm just trying to smell something that looks blue. Subtle. That's what I'm saying. It probably smells better warmed up, but whatever that is, I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. So the scent that they're smelling is the, a new Disney scent called Mickey Mouse and Friends, and it is releasing as a new Disney scent. It um, also is available oh. in a scent pack to add to Daisy and um, Donald and Daisy Duck. So the Mickey Mouse and Friends description is celebrate everlasting friendship with a fragrance almost as sweet thanks to Georgia Peach. <laughs> thanks to thanks to Georgia Peach, accented by pops of orange peel and vanilla. So like a creamsicle. It smells like a creamsicle to me, but not in a super strong way. It's kind of a subtle scent, that's for sure. But Mickey Mouse and Friends. So you liked it, like but it. it wasn't high up see, on the list. I can for see him. how now it's Mickey Mouse because it Mickey does sound similar to like your pal Mickey. A, no, it does not. Your pal Mouse. Mickey is like um, Scarlet Woods. Your pal Scarlet. Mickey is definitely a woodsy scent, and Mickey and Friends is definitely a fruity, fruity I, scent. I barely got the fruit out of it though. It just smelled like. Well, we'll have to try that one when it's warming too. Okay. We're gonna do this one now. This one, I really like this one. So we'll see how they feel about it. Did you write down whether or not you liked Mickey and Friends? Okay, here we go. This one is to me. I love it a lot. Ooh. Ooh. He said, ooh. I like this. He likes it. <laughs> this is That's a similar reaction to prickly pear in agave that he did. He likes this one. Yeah. This this, this He likes all the green ones. Nostalgic. Mm -hmm. What memory is it bringing back? It reminds me of when I used to play Sonic. I used to smell a scent like this when I used to play Sonic. I don't know what the scent was in my house at the time, but whatever this so is. So this one is nostalgic for him and I, he doesn't often say that. Like I haven't heard him say that particular Hey, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, not many things Wait. bring me back. Not many things bring him back. Wait, go back. Strawberry Taffy, Peyton hates it. Mama Thunder hates it. They both had negative reactions. <laughs> they do not like Strawberry Taffy. I like they Strawberry Taffy. Like something from when you were like 40. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> like, oh, my yeah, you might add something. So <laughs> this one that they're smelling right now is nostalgic for Peyton, which he doesn't say all the time. He will either say that he likes or doesn't like a scent, but he doesn't often say that it brings back a memory for him. So, but he really likes it. Mama Thunder really likes it. Here's what they're smelling. It's called Farmer's Market. Hey. Crunchy carrot and cucumber with a hint of rose will have you seeing and smelling green. I really think that this scent is gonna be a huge hit and I don't want you to be deterred by the word rose because it does not smell like Simply Rose mm -hmm. or any of the other strong rose floral yeah, there, scents. There isn't a strong Which rose. I was nervous about because you see the word rose and it almost will overpower a fragrance. But this one is a super good blend um, and the sort of vegetable-ish fragrances really tone it down. I don't even really smell like the strong rose in it, mm. but this scent smells straight up like walking into a farmer's market or living in an area where they have vegetable stands and fruit stands and you have your windows open or something. This one is really good. It's very fresh. Farmer's market. I've never thought that I would like carrot in a fragrance before, but this is great. Farmer's Market is crunchy carrot and cucumber with a hint of rose. 
will have you seeing and smelling green. This one's gonna be a really good one. I think this one all around people will like. Yeah. So moving on, sounded like it was gonna be really good. Well, you can certainly try it, Rachel. I'd be more than happy to send you like a cube of strawberry taffy and you can smell it for yourself. It may just have this weird like after, almost like an aftertaste. I liked it, but it wouldn't be the first, like if I were building a six pack of the new releases, I probably wouldn't put strawberry taffy in it. So, all right, moving on. All right, we're gonna do this sort of like tan colored yeah, one. Here you go. Here we go. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm really interested I'm to see. Hey, Cassie. I'm, I want to know what he thinks of this one for sure. It smells like a honey bun. <laughs> it smells like a honey bun. <laughs> it smells like a honey bun. 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 Why are you conflicted? Because, like, I wouldn't exist in the scent of honey bun, but, like, the smell of honey bun is, like, also, like, I don't know, warming or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, honey bun, I'm relax. And neither of us really typically like the bakery scents or like the more food I'm fragrances not, not that are sweet. That. But I actually really that. like this one. And this one is nostalgic for me, too. Yeah. It tastes like smut. It tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like a honey away from the children. <laughs> And your pets. So this one is called Churro Churro. Bakery or baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures that heavenly churro charm. And as soon as I smelled it, it brought me right back to Disneyland this summer when I was sitting on the steps outside of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride with um, my daughter Evelyn and my best friend Jennifer and we were eating churros. Like immediately it brought me back to that. Um, so it was nostalgic for me, and I don't typically like um, bakery sweet scents. This one I would probably take in moderation as well, because too much sweet like that gives me a headache. I'm, I'm just sensitive to it. Um, but if you like uh, baked apple pie or um, like cinnamon sugar, mm -hmm. vanilla, butter, bean buttercream, this one would be right up your alley. Yeah, sticky cinnamon bun, the other fragrance that we had, sticky cinnamon bun. This one um, doesn't smell exactly like that, but it's a uh, reminiscent of. All right, moving on. We're going to go with this pink colored one. The other pink. The other pink. Ready? Here we go. Pink. Oh, my goodness. He's a mess. Like you like it? It's like it's like a wave of a scent because I just smelled it and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> it yeah, just no, kept it smelling. <laughs> <laughs> so it has like staying power. That's for sure. I feel like this yeah, one will be like a surprise like a scent office office for a lot of people. A medical office? If you were sitting in one of the actual like the reception area and you know how like yeah, you know what I mean. Office yeah. really isn't that good of a smell. <laughs> yeah, this is more like a waiting area. Like a nicely scented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Area. You know what I mean? Like okay. you go to a place and it's like <laughs> in the corner and it's like, you know what I mean? He's a straight <laughs> up mess. You know the auto well, thing that's going Sam, you're going to love minutes. churro churro then. Rachel, you're also going to love churro churro. And I don't like bakery scents and I like it. <laughs> this yeah, one smells like a medical that's office. Good. That's good. Really but in a good way. Mm -hmm. That has like a clean, fresh, Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, fresh. Like, <laughs> like the air freshener in a medical office that smells really good. Please. We have room sprays. Autos. <laughs> this is, this is Sorry, I have a non disclosure agreement signed. <laughs> so I cannot uh, be forthcoming with auto room sprays. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, okay. I love it, love it, love it. What they're smelling is pink cotton. Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. Um, the cotton, anything that has cotton, like coconut cotton, indigo cotton, those are right up my alley. I love it. This one is called pink cotton. I'll read it again. 
Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. I'll, I'll give it the prop for it. <laughs> make me feel Smell. like I'm like. Makes you feel like you're on a cloud. Pot. Yeah, that's a plus. That's a plus. That's good. That's a fact. <laughs> okay, we only have three more to go, and we're gonna go with this like minty green one next, and see what they think. Three to go. You see how hard he's rubbing my scent testers? That back oh, finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rachel, you're going to really like pink cotton. Yes, you will. I think you're going to wish you liked strawberry taffy, but you probably won't. And pink this cotton, you should just go with instead. This, is this one that he's smelling now, this minty green one, he said this is slick. He likes it. Looks like he's digging it. Yeah, I like this. This is dope. This probably has some cucumber in it, too, I think. But it's good. That's it's good. good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Light. Yeah, it's light. It's definitely not overpowering. That's it's um. Wow. Oh. What's that? I don't know. Something you want to rub on. It's really light. nice. This is like a good spring floral. It is yeah. spring floral. That's like after Kinds. you Marie Kondo your house. <laughs> Put okay. that in the sense. Okay. <laughs> is by far my favorite Disney scent ever to come out that we've had so far. And this is um, for the Bambi movie. It's called Twitter Pated. So Twitter Pated from Bambi and Thumper. And here's the description. Spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sun-kissed Meyer lemon, morning dew drops, and lush wild moss. By far, yeah. the top Disney scent that we've ever had. And I know that you guys have had a love-hate with the Disney line and the fragrances. The Princess Collection is very heavy on the floral side. This one is my favorite Disney scent. If I only could pick one Disney scent to stay, it would be Twitter Painted. And over Mulan. Over Mulan, definitely. <laughs> And so the new um, sidekick, the new Disney sidekicks that we're getting, Bambi and Thumper, Bambi and Thumper, those will be available March 1st. Those are scented in Twitter painted. They're really good. Really, really good. All right. So by far the best Disney scent I think to, that we've ever come out with is Twitter painted. We've only got two more to go. So we're going to go ahead with this one. It's this sort of um, like darker orange, sort of mustard yellow scent. There you go. You guys have got to get Twitter painted for sure. And the sidekicks, they up the fragrance in them, so they're a little bit stronger. He says this one smells like chapstick. Which scent? Oh, where is it? Oh, you like what kind of chapstick? What kind of chapstick? No, well, it's more like Vaseline. It's actually what it smells like. It smells like Vaseline? Mm hmm Yeah, it smells like petroleum. Baby scent? Yeah, like a baby scent, yeah. Like, like baby like, Vaseline? Uh, mm hmm Cocoa butter? Uh, some like cocoa butter. It's just, this smells like mm -hmm. moisturizer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it smells like moisturizer. <laughs> chapstick. <laughs> This, this will cover all your cracks right up. This is so Oh, yeah. But you like, so you like it then? Yeah, I like that. All right, you, you like it. You probably put that in your scent warmer and all the eczema in the house at this period. That's dope. He thinks this scent will cure eczema. <laughs> He's too much. <laughs> Everybody needs Thumper, Casey. I'm getting Thumper like Friday. <laughs> Instantly. I need him really bad. Her really bad. I need all of it really bad. I know you need a flower. I will put it in the suggestion box. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? We're talking about some new Disney yeah, stuff too. Like a... Chapsticky. Yeah. So we haven't, um, people have been asking for a really long time for a honey scent and Orville has never approved one because he has felt he couldn't get the honey right. And if you do honey wrong, it's really bad. So this one, though, I think I think did a good job. And I think when it's warming, 
you'll smell a lot more of the honey come out and not so much of the chapsticky eczema waxy. healing. Um, it doesn't smell waxy to yeah. me. And I think when it's warming, it will really, really like reach its full potential. And I know that they worked a really long time on this scent and it's called Be My Honey. Mm. Pineapple rings topped with sweet honey and jasmine blossom make a treat fit for a queen. Um, I think this is a fantastic honey scent. Very much so like fresh honey. Um, I really like it. I think it's going to be another like fresh um, spring scent for people. It's definitely fresh. And I think they nailed the honey. And I'm really glad that they waited to release a honey fragrance yeah, that they really got perfect. right. Because yeah, it's right. one of those that if you get it wrong, it's oh, really yeah. wrong. Um, mm -hmm. So I know they worked on this one a really long time. And I think it's great. All right. One more to go, and this is the only one that he has smelled in the house before because I did get a bar of it early release that they gave to me at World Tour. So this is why I saved this one for last, but here we go. Last one, it's dark blue. It looks like dark blue. Uh, <laughs> he really likes it. Uh, <laughs> This is my baby. Right? That's his baby. Yeah. Well, it's really my baby. Mine's. What? Don't drool in the tester. I'll make sure I bring all new testers to your party, Casey. I'm ordering more sets. These will be just for the house. Uh, yeah, isn't that great? Uh. So we did actually warm this bar because I could not wait. Um, when I came home oh from World Tour, they gave me yes. two bars already in advance for free, and I got pink cotton and waves and wonders. Ooh. Um, so he has already smelled this one, but he didn't like know the description or anything. It's good. And I just couldn't wait, so I put it in. This one is called Waves and Wonders, and the description is dewy beach grass and coastal cypress will have you feeling the amber sand between your toes. Any scent that has a description of amber in it, <laughs> this is the reaction that Peyton gives you. He goes bananas for things that have amber in it. I don't know why. He always does. It was one or two years ago. Yeah, like, we put. Uh, and it was like one cube left yeah. in the thing that she mm -hmm. didn't put in the warmer, so I kept opening it once in a while. <laughs> so Waves and Wonders is really, really good. It's high up there for me and like, you know, like my top five of the new releases. So obviously it's a fan favorite here at the Smith household as well. So let's quickly try to get our like top three picks from each person. Chocolate Thunder, you go ahead, your top three. Top three in any particular order? Any particular order. The three that you would choose if you could only pick three. Uh, Farmer's Market, uh, Twitter Padded, and Waves and Wonders. Farmer's Market, Twitter Padded, Waves and Wonders. Mm -hmm. Mama? I would pick uh, Pink Cotton, Twitter Padded, and Waves and Wonders. There you go. So two for Twitter Padded and two for Waves and Wonders. I would also pick Twitter Padded. I would also pick Farmer's Market, and then I would pick, um, let me take that back. I would pick Do We or Don't We and Now and Zen and Twitter painted. Those would be my top three. Um, I love Waves and Wonders. It's really, really good, and it's very different from any of the other ocean scents that we've had. There's something different about it, so it's not like by the sea or beach or even ocean. Um, it's definitely different. Um, uh, what? <laughs> but I wouldn't but I really like now and Zen and I really also like do we or don't we and I really like Twitter painted so um, you know waves and wonders has like a beach grass like a grassy type hit yeah, to it was, but was, Twitter painted has some earthy like grassy notes to it too so does do we or don't we so I would probably pick those two instead so those are your top three picks from each of us and you guys have just now experienced all of Chocolate Thunder's initial reactions without knowing the fragrances and gotten his honest review. So, what can I smell? Do we don't we one more time? Do we don't we? There you go. <laughs> so, oh yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Friendly reminders, if you got your ticket in your February sample mail because you placed an order in January, Make sure you find your ticket. Here's your fair warning because we're going to be pulling the winning ticket on Friday and I'm giving away a free mini warmer from the new catalog. This Friday? This Friday is March 1st. Hello. Hey. When? 
Friday, sometime on Friday. <laughs> Lord, we're gonna pull a ticket Friday. on Friday. Jeez, Friday is March 1st. Okay, it's date night on Friday. We're going on a date night, hashtag date your spouse, but sometime on Friday, I will be pulling the winning ticket for the free mini warmer from the new warmer collection. So find your tickets, here's your fair warning. Love you guys. <laughs> because nobody claimed the ticket from January. Yeah, so um, also keep an eye on your mailbox because all the new catalog mail is going out and you're gonna wanna get it because um, we did something totally brand new for this catalog mailing and there's some fun little treats for each and every one of you inside the catalog mail. Only a few more days left to join um, Sensi and start your own Sensi business for $49 or just keep the kit, whatever. We don't care what you want to do with it. I don't get anything when you join and you get to keep all the stuff. So if you want to get up on that good deal, go for it. And I promise not to harass you if you don't want to be harassed. So also a couple more days only to um, get anything from the fall and winter collection that's discontinuing and currently on sale or even products that are sticking around, but they're on sale this month and not next month. So, yeah, you guys got all of our picks for the new releases. This is a great new catalog. I really am impressed with it since he like never ceases to one-up themselves over and over again. So I am ready to get at your parties booked if you want to book a party and um, get some pre-orders in for the mermaid glass warmer as well because it's beautiful. So it's right behind us. So let's oh, turn it around. Uh oh, hold on. It's hard with the way that the light is on it. Sorry, y'all. Uh, well, the lighting is kind of crappy for that. But I will um, put up some more pictures if you want to see more pictures later. If you're catching the replay, drop hashtag re replay down below. Thanks for joining us live. We love you to pieces and pieces. See you later. Thank you.